Okay, I just got my uh, my suck it dust boot in for my X carve, and it took me a couple minutes to kind of figure out where things go, but now I think I know. So I'm going to show you how to install this, especially if you've got a Z probe, because um, that's the part that kind of took me a couple of minutes. I wasn't quite sure how that went. So when you get it, um, you'll have all these pieces here, and one piece you'll have. I'm not going to unscrew it, but there's this piece right here that you'll have a bunch of these things. And these are basically the supports for the arms, which are these things, of the dust boot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for the one that actually has this slot in it. And right now there's this little black thing in there. You take the black thing and you slide it in the slot. And this is actually where your Z-probe is gonna go because if you look up here, the Z-probe goes through the wall that supports the spindle. Well, you can't put this plate over top of there because it will block the access to your Z-probe. So what they've done is they've actually added this little section up on top and that's now where the Z-probe goes. So I mounted this so this is going to fit underneath, or I'm sorry, this is going to fit on top just like this. So I mounted it so that the deeper well of this little what bracket is facing the back of the machine and then you just basically undo the little nut and washer off of your Z-probe and then I screwed this right inside of here and it, it actually is tight and it will fit it's a, a nice tight so you can use the threads of the Z-probe and screw that right in and it's very tight so then this will actually fit over top and then you will have access right here to your Z-probe so let me just kind of zoom in and show you what I mean. All right, so there you go. So you can see now that this bracket, when it's all said and done, will sit up on top, and then your access to the Z-probe will now be right there. So don't worry about it being on the plate here, because here's the original hole right here for the Z-probe. You don't need this right here. It's kind of hard to see, but now it's gonna sit up top. So let's go ahead and finish up the install on this now that we know where the Z-probe goes. Okay. So what you're gonna do is if you look at these little brackets, they're clear and they have a closed side and an open side. So what you need to do is just find the closed side that will fit with the screw in front and that's gonna slide right on top and butt into the side of this plate right here. So it's just gonna slide on, butt into the plate. I'm gonna take this one off top for a second because you have to slide this piece in, this little piece of track. You've got these aluminum extrusions right here. They just slide right in like this. And then what you're gonna do is tighten up this little Allen head screw right there, just a little bit. You're gonna take one of these dust boot supports. Now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure there's magnets on this side, there's a groove on this side. You want that groove to be facing in towards the spindle. So you're just gonna take this and slide it on. And then you're gonna take the one that we fit the, Z, the uh, probe onto and you're gonna fit it up top and then tighten that screw. There is an Allen head, they give you all the tools to do this. There's, a, there's a, an Allen key that comes with this and you can tighten these down. Just kind of try to keep them square on there. And this one, you just have to push that boot up a little bit, tighten this one down. And sometimes I wanna slide a little bit, so make sure you keep a little pressure on there while you're tightening it down. All right, so there's this side. So now all we have to do is the same thing on the other side. We're gonna take this one, slide it in here, and then we'll take our bracket, fit it there. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one. Okay. Then we're gonna take the top bracket and fit it on after we slide this piece in. Don't forget to slide this in. Okay, we're gonna take the top bracket, put that on, tighten that. Okay, find my Allen head, hex key, tighten this one up. All right, at this point we're pretty much done. Okay, so the last part of this is actually the dust boot. So you've got an adapter right here that you can fit into here. And then you're gonna take these little plates that fit on this side right here. And 
Let me get that through, maybe. Um, these are all 3D printed, so they're a little tight. Um, they're a good fit, though. So I'm going to slide one of them in here, and then I'm going to go ahead and tighten the screw on this one. I'm not going to tighten it all the way because these are made to actually slide. So there's a little bit of space in there so you can figure out what the best spacing is for yours, I think. Um, get that one. There we go. Get that one in place. Maybe. <laughs> These this uh, 3D printed material is tight to get it in there. So let me try to get this pushed down. There we go. Okay, so that is the magnet that attaches on one side, and I'm just going to go ahead and do the same on the other side. All right, so you can see that I've got the magnets now attached on each side. Um, you can see that there are little tightening knurled uh, knobs on each side of these, so if you want to fix this in place, you can do it like that. There is a slot. I got the one with the slot on it so that I can not have to worry about the bits. You slide this in. It locks into the magnets, and I think if you just do like that, and there you go, it fits perfectly on here, and it is excellent. So there you go, there is the assembly of the Suck It Dust Boot for an X-Carve with a Z-Probe. Um, once you kind of figure it out, it's really not that hard, but it is very cool, and I'm looking forward to a much more dust-free environment. All right, thanks, Suck It. Appreciate it.